Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I got this really festive makeup look. So the green eyes, I personally think, are perfect for any like Christmas night out that you've got planned. So whether it's going out with your girls, whether it's a work Christmas party where you wanna show up and let them all know that you are the hottest in the office. You know, if it's a school thing, whatever the occasion is, this is the perfect eyeshadow look for any occasion. So make sure that if you like this look, that you carry on watching. So before we get into the video, we're just gonna crack straight on with the shower. Out. So this week's shout outs go to someone called Alice Gobi. I think I said your name right, but thank you so much for your comment. I absolutely love you and I'm really, really glad that you liked the look. So everyone go and subscribe to Alice. Second shout out is going to someone called Safa Kalik. Her comment's on the screen for you now. Angel, thank you so, so much for your comment. If that's you that I see in that profile picture, then baby girl, you look like you smash your makeup. So thank you for your compliment. It really does mean the world to me. So everyone go and subscribe to Safa. So shout outs out the way. I'm just gonna get straight into this tutorial just so that I can show you how to get this look. Because chances are is that you're in a bit of a rush. You're trying to get ready for your party and you don't need me waffling. So let's just get into the video and I'm gonna show you how I got this look. By the way, this isn't a love bite, it's a burn. So as always, I'm starting off zoomed right the way in so that you can see exactly what I'm doing to get this eye look. So I honestly just prefer to do my eyes and then be able to like clean up any mess that I make whilst doing my eyes and then move on to my face. So that is why I always start off with my eyes. So to set a base for this eyeshadow look, I'm taking my favourite, that is the P. Louise base, which is in the shade Rumour. So if you follow my channel, then you will know that this is my absolute favourite base to use for like any bright eyeshadow look. So I'm taking my Zoeva 144 and I'm just gonna start painting over my eyelid. You can see that I'm kind of just patting the base down into my eye. And then I'm coming in a little bit more carefully to carve out my eyebrows. And I'm just gonna keep patting that in until I'm happy with how the base looks. Oh, by the way, guys, just in case you've noticed and I haven't mentioned yet, I'm, I am wearing some contact lenses, so I'll link them down below in the description box so that you guys know where to get these from. But, but basically, if you've got Instagram, then the Instagram name is Lumi Lens. They are the best lenses. I absolutely love them. So if you guys were wondering why my eyes are a different colour, then that is why. So I'm just grabbing the first palette that I'm going to be using for this look. So that is the Zulu palette by Juvia's Place. So this is a new palette. So you guys would have seen in my recent Beauty Bay haul that I only just got this palette. And then on a Zoeva 231 brush, I'm just going to dip into this green colour from the Juvia's palette. And I'm just going to start pressing that colour onto my eye and I'm coming round in a circle to kind of create the same shape that we've got on the other eye and I'm just taking this really slowly just because it's quite important to be careful when you're like mapping out the shape of where you want the green to be just because you don't want to take it like too wide and then not be able to like blend it out the way that you want to later so just take this really really carefully and slowly just to be sure that you're getting the shape right or not necessarily right just like the way that you want it like you definitely don't want to rush yourself and then end up with like a really messy eye so I'm just going to keep dipping back into that green just to build up the colour and then with this same brush I'm going to start using some circular motions to blend around the outside. And I'm going to take my time on this just because I honestly just think it's really important to dedicate time to blending if you want like a really nice finished look. And then now that I've blended that out a little bit, I'm coming back in using the same brush just to get some more of that green. And I'm just gonna come back in and pack that back over 
just to make sure that it's still like really really green because usually when you blend it kind of like dulls down the color a little bit and you definitely want to like keep it as green as possible so i am added some color back into that and then i'm just taking this clean fluffy iconic london brush this is a tapered blending brush and i'm just going to use circular motions just to go around the very edges of the green and i'm just going to try and blend out the edges of this just to kind of help it create like this fanned out blended effect that I've got in the other eye and I'm just going to keep going back over the same areas until I feel that they look blended enough. So I'm not 100% sure when I'm going to be posting this video up, but as I'm filming this video, the date is Sunday the 16th of December, but basically this week has been an absolute nightmare skin wise for me. It's basically just poured down with rain all week, so I've been stuck in the house, which I absolutely hate, because obviously being allergic to water, I'm sure you can imagine like the rain is the scariest thing ever, like I absolutely hate going out in the rain, and where I am this whole week, the weather has just been so rubbish so I literally feel like a prisoner this week like I've been stuck inside the house for so long because on top of when it rains like on top of not being able to actually go outside in the rain it actually does affect my skin like it makes my skin in general a lot sorer and it makes me have more allergic reactions in general I haven't really had much opportunity to like actually be pain free enough to do my makeup so although it's a Sunday and I shouldn't be filming on a Sunday just because it feels wrong to like be working on a Sunday but I honestly just really really wanted to do a look because like I say I've just been so ill all week which is why you guys wouldn't have had a weekly vlog for this week and yeah it's just been pretty rubbish pretty rubbish as it usually is when it gets to winter and obviously the rain starts setting in and stuff but yeah I just wanted to let you know that I'm still alive I just been hiding indoors i don't know how well you guys can hear it because i don't know what the camera picks up but basically it's pouring down with rain outside right now i can hear it and i've just had enough really i just decided i'm gonna get something done today like it's quite late on as well it's gone 6 p.m i just really wanted to film this look for you guys today just because i'm feeling a little bit christmasy and i'm feeling a little bit better as well so the next color that i'm taking you can see that i've just dotted it on my eye because i almost forgot to tell you what i was gonna do I'm taking this sleek palette which is the I Divine bad girl palette I'm taking this blue color here which I'm just getting on a G18 Morphe brush and I'm just pushing some of that into the outer corner of my eye also the inner corner and then on a different brush so I'm taking kind of like a thinner brush and this is just a regular Morphe brush and I'm taking that same blue and I'm just taking that up and round and with that flat Morphe brush I'm just using some circular motions just to try and blend that So don't worry, this is always going to look mad at first, but the key will always just be to keep blending. I'm coming back in with this 231 brush by Zoeva, and I've got that green colour from the Juvia's Place palette, and I'm just going to use some circular motions. And then I'm coming back in with that Morphe G18 and I'm just going to intensify the blue. 
I really need to stop filming with my phone on loud because it's so annoying. I'm sorry, I will remember that. Oh, by the way, guys, just in case you've noticed, but basically this burn on my neck is from my hair curlers. Obviously, I've got curly hair at the moment and it literally was just from curling my hair this morning. I just don't want you guys to think that I've got some like dodgy shaped love bite or something on my neck. It is definitely just a curler burn just because I am so clumsy. And then with this Morphe G18 brush, I'm just gonna keep going around the edges of this blue just using circular motion to blend that into the green. And then I am just gonna go around the edges with a bit more green just to make sure that is still as bright as I want it to be. Okay, and then to cut the crease, I'm coming back in with the P. Louise base. It's the same one that I used as a base right at the beginning of the video. I'm just getting some of that base on the back of my hand. And I'm coming in with this Zoeva 144 concealer brush, which look at the shape of it. It's just a dream for cutting the crease. So I'm just gonna start slowly. And I'm doing it in a semi-circle kind of shape to create this halo eye effect right at the end. Okay, so now that I've cut the crease, I'm just coming in with that same blue from the Sleep palette. And I'm just gonna start pressing that into the outer corners of where I've cut the crease. I'm just gonna keep dipping back into that to get extra product. I'm doing the exact same thing on the inner corner as well. So note that I'm literally just pushing the color into my lid. I'm not doing any blending at the moment. And then now I'm gonna do some circular motions just to make sure that it is blended nicely. And then just for this tiny bit here, I'm coming in with this green from the Sleek palette. It's quite a dark green, but it doesn't matter because it's literally just a base. So I'm just packing that over where that empty spot was. And then the thing in my opinion which really makes this eye look is the Barry M Holographic Eyeshadow Topper which I'm using in the shade Supernova. This eyeshadow topper is honestly amazing. I saw Mitchell use it ages and ages and ages ago but I honestly fell in love with it as soon as I saw him use it. So I'm just taking that on this Morphe G10 brush and I'm just packing that over the top of where I just put that darker green shadow. And then round the edges, I'm just coming back in with that Morphe G18. And then I'm just gonna quickly jump off camera. I'm just gonna go and clean up my face using some of my special oil spray. And then I'm gonna add some lashes and then smoke out the lower lash line as well. So I will see you in a second. Okay, so now I'm just taking a tiny bit more P. Louise base. Again, I'm taking it on that 144 brush and I'm just gonna start dabbing some of that under my eyes. So I want that to go on really, really thin. And then I'm taking this thinner brush, which I used earlier with for my eyes, and I'm just using this to smoke out the lower lash line. And then I'm coming back in with this away for 231 with a little bit of green on the end of the brush, and I'm just gonna smoke that out further. So I'm just gonna take that under my eyes. And then for my lashes, I'm taking these unicorn lashes, which I've got in the style Cherry Top. I really, really like these lashes. They are really, really fluffy. Definitely fluffier than I was expecting. Okay, and then as always, I'm just getting my House of Lashes glue onto the lash band, and I'm gonna set that down to dry for a little bit. So the reason that I use this House of Lashes glue is because I have really, really sensitive eyes. Obviously, you guys know that I'm allergic to water, so it's obvious that my skin and my body in general is quite sensitive. I'm very sensitive to like dust pollens, I'm sensitive to pet hairs, I like if you feel like you are one of those people that does 
suffer and is a little bit more sensitive than the next person a reason why your eyelash glue could be making your eyes water is because some of them have latex in it so the house of lashes one doesn't actually have any latex and it took me quite a while to get to the point of like finding an eyelash glue which worked for me but yeah just to save yourself from looking around if you find that like duo glues and stuff like that make your eyes water then it's probably the latex in it so just try the house of lashes glue and let me know what you think because it has literally changed the way that i wear lashes forever like i thought that i was never going to be able to wear lashes until i got this and then it just made everything so much easier and yeah it just basically makes a huge difference so whilst i'm waiting for that lash to dry down i'm just taking the l'oreal paris paradise ecstatic mascara and i'm just taking a few coats of that over my top lashes just to get them ready to put that full slash on Also, whilst I'm waiting for the lash, I'm just gonna jump in with the Morphe Gel Liner, which I'm using in the shade Jet. I'm just taking a small Iconic London eyeliner brush, and then I'm just gonna use that to fill in my waterline. Do you know what? I know that I've had this Morphe Gel Liner for quite a while, yeah, but even though right at the beginning I did recommend it, I think I'm going off it, like, majorly now, just because I don't know what the hell has happened, but it, like, it's, it, like, dries up, and it just stops being a gel after a while. I haven't left the lid off. Like, I definitely have not left the lid off at any point. Not even whilst I'm doing my makeup, because I get, like, paranoid about things going dry. So I always put the lids on whilst I'm doing my makeup. And, yeah, for some reason, this has just dried out so much. So I don't know if I'd recommend it to go and buy. Just because, you know, it's not, like, really, really expensive. But it's, like, £10. So that's not cheap to just, like, waste. And like I say, it seems to work really well right at the beginning and then it starts to fall off a little bit and it like just dries up and just isn't as good basically. So I just want you to bear that in mind. And then I'm taking this lash. Can I just put out a quick disclaimer? We're not paying any attention to the state of my nails in this video just because like I say, I've been stuck inside the house for the past like week because of the weather. Like my nails needed doing last week, but I honestly just haven't got out of the house. So yeah, we're just dealing with that. So I personally don't want to talk about it then I'm just coming in with that paradise ecstatic mascara and I'm just gonna do my bottom lash mascara okay so I'm gonna zoom you out because I'm about to move on to my face makeup so I'm gonna get you zoomed right out so that you can see my full face a little bit you know less up close okay so for my foundation i'm using the makeup revolution fast base foundation i use this in the shade f10 and where it's a stick foundation obviously you can see you can literally just draw it all over your face which i personally think is really good because it helps you to get really even coverage and it's so easy like it's literally just like coloring in so i do really like this foundation and then I'm coming in with this Soeva 104 buffer brush and I'm literally just going to use circular motions to blend that in. I actually cannot even explain to you how bad that rain sounds outside my window. So if you guys have been following my makeup videos for a while, then you'll know that I quite recently got a new set of brushes. So I got this Zoeva set of brushes. And up until I got these brushes, I literally never used like anything other than a beauty blender for my face, really. You know, I really wasn't a brush girl. Like I just, just such a fan of like how versatile the beauty blender is. And obviously you can just use it for so many different products. But basically since having these brushes, I've realized what a great finish you can get when you apply your makeup with brushes and I just think it's so ridiculous that I've been almost like ignoring and you know just assuming that beauty blenders were the best way to go but I've actually realized that I really like using brushes definitely to apply my foundation I feel like it just gives you a much better finish Oh, this cut on my neck is doing my head in. It's just such a shitty place to get a burn. Like, it looks so bad. And because I only did it today, at the moment, it's still, like, really, really sore. So that's why I'm not covering it up. Because I just, I don't want to touch it because it hurts. And then for my concealer, I'm taking the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. I'm using this in the shade C7. And I've got it in the super-sized version. And I'm literally just using that to highlight under my eyes. 
also taken some of that on my forehead as well and also down my nose and then I am just going to use a beauty blender to blend this out just because I think it's just the easiest way to do concealer so yeah that's nicely blended and I'm just literally going all around my face and blending out all of the concealer that I've added And then to set the concealer in place, I'm taking some of the Makeup Revolution Luxury Banana Powder, which I'm literally just gonna take on this beauty blender, patting that in, just to make sure that all of that concealer's set under my eyes, just because I hate it when your eyes start like creasing and like wrinkling, that really annoys me. So I like to get that set ASAP to kind of like avoid that from happening. And then I'm taking this 106 powder brush by Zoeva. I'm literally just gonna use that just to set down the rest of my face. I'm literally just mattifying my whole face. so that I can get it ready to start contouring with some powder. So I do that just because I find that when you're putting on powder contour, I personally think that it blends a little bit better if you like set it down with powder first. So for bronzer, I'm taking this Morphe 9BZ palette and I'm taking this 110 face shape brush by Zoeva. I'm coming in with this shade here and I'm literally just gonna start applying that to my cheekbone. And I'm taking that also around my forehead. After this as well, you will want to like tidy up your edges, especially if you like having your edges super laid like I do. Definitely go back and do your edges after this because I personally just always ruin my hair when I'm doing my face makeup and that is just something that I've accepted. And I'm just contouring this cheek as well. To contour my nose, I'm using the Morphe G42 brush just because I like the fact that you can kind of like go down in a straight line. I find that it's really, really nice and easy to contour with. So I've already got a bit of powder on this and I'm literally just taking it really lightly. As you can see, I've just made a straight line going down my nose. I'm gonna do that on the other side as well. And I'm taking that that as well so you can see I contoured my nose to make it look like I literally cannot breathe as James Charles would say because we want this nose to be absolutely snatched so I'm taking the face shaper brush and I'm just going to use that to kind of like blend out the edges of that a little bit taking some more of that banana powder on a sponge and I'm just going to use that just to help contour my nose so I'm just taking that up the sides just to make sure that that is as snatched as I can make it look and then I'm going to come in and do my lips so for lip liner I'm taking the BH Cosmetics waterproof lip liner which I'm using in the shade nude and I'm literally just going to use this to outline my lips I like to use lip liner as a way to make my lip shape more even because my lips are really unsymmetrical. So personally, I don't like to overline my lips too much. I just kind of go more for like an even symmetrical shape or more so than I have naturally at least. Okay, so I'm taking the shade Cabaret Show. So for my lips, I'm using two mini matte lipsticks. The first one that I've used is the shade Cabaret Show. And then I'm taking this lighter shade, which is the shade Push Up. It's kind of like a lighter pink, and I'm putting that in the middle of my lips.
and that kind of creates like an ombre effect because it makes it kind of like lighter in the middle than it is like on the outside so i'm going to leave that as it is and i'm just going to take this powder brush and take off this powder off my nose and then very lastly to highlight, I'm taking this Doll Beauty highlighter, which I've got in the shade Like a Diamond. And I'm just going to use that to highlight the very tip of my nose. I'm taking some of that on my cheekbones above where I've contoured. So angels, this is the finished makeup look. I really, really hope that you like this Christmassy green eye look. I think this look is absolutely perfect for the festive season. I'm in love with this Barry M eyeshadow topper. I think it completely makes this eyeshadow look. So make sure that if you like this look as well, that you smash a thumbs up down below and that you hit the subscribe button because in the new year, we're aiming for 100K. So please just tell your friends, share with your friends, tell them to come and subscribe to my channel and join the family. I really honestly would appreciate it so much. If you guys don't already follow me on Instagram, then make sure that you're following me over there because I've posted up some pictures of this makeup look. So make sure that you head over there and give those a double tap. Also, make sure that you're following me on Twitter just because I'm using Twitter a lot more than I usually do at the moment. So I really want to start like tapping into some like more interesting communities on Twitter because I've been out of it for so long. Like I really haven't paid much attention to Twitter for ages and I feel like things have kind of like moved along without me. So make sure that you come and give me a follow on there. As always, angels, thank you so much much for watching this tutorial i really hope that you like this look and i will see you in the next video